Welcome back to this final video in the YouTube tutorial series about implementing templates and generics in C. And so in the previous video, uh, we had a strange occurrence where all of the values in our stack were of value 10. And I want you guys to think, I thought, I, I told you guys to think about what happened. And so now I'm going to explain exactly what happened. So whenever a for loop is created, it allocates a single block of memory for an integer the iterator on the stack and at each iteration it changes the value of the uh, the variable and here we're inside our loop we're pushing the address of this stack variable and at each iteration this address is not changing so we're actually pushing the same address 10 times and what happens is when we dereference this, this address we're getting its value well when we in our our last iteration, the for loop, we went from 9 to 10, and then we broke out because 10 is now no longer less than 10. So i is now equal to 10. The value at that address is now equal to 10, and we have 10 occurrence, excuse me, we have 10 occurrences of this. This is why the value is 10. And so it's a it's a pretty strange phenomenon, and I didn't even notice it until just not running my code. However, uh, this is the end of the series. Hopefully you guys have learned a lot about function pointers and pointers to functions. And not just that, but good programming practice, such as uh, just labeling things. And hopefully I've given you new ideas of how to expand your code and make it more reusable. So uh, as a brief summary, uh, templates can be generated by the usage of a void pointer. As we can see here, a void pointer. It can be of any data type, and, but you have to be careful because void pointers cannot be dereferenced and they can be casted. Because they can be casted to any value, they can be incorrectly casted. And this can cause major, pro major problems in your code because sometimes it won't necessarily cause a seg fault, uh, especially if you're uh, casting integers from, or excuse me, casting primitive types from complex types such as user-defined data and pointers to functions are very useful as we can see here the comparator function the free value function these are two examples you can even create more examples uh, more functions to pointers that you can pass to special structs so you can make a struct uh, and pass in different types of pointers to functions for different usages and this allows the user to actually uh, define their own types of functions uh, behind the scenes. So this is a very powerful tool. As we can see, it's uh, it's very normal in the standard template library for QSort, and it's pretty normal for implementing template data structures. So there we have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series. So please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.